Hey, I'm Mike Donardo with Galleon Marine, and I am pumped to bring you Stabycraft's 1850 Fisher. This particular one is the offshore model. Let's have a look. Up front, cantilevered seats. These seats are mounted against the sidewall. There's no suspension, and the craziest part is it does not need it. We took this thing out in some sloppy water and was unbelievably impressed and comfortable the entire time. Big dash, I can fit 12 inch electronics if I want to. Real simple setup on this one. A walk through windshield. So that lifts vertically, I can get easy access to the anchor or beach, get my cooler on and off, whatever I want to do. And speaking of anchor, there's enough space in that anchor well for 250 feet of line and 50 feet of chain, which is unreal for an 18 foot boat. You've got different storage compartments for different gear up here, plus a good step to get out to the bow. Behind the two seats, we've got AC Tech coolers that double as a second bench. Comes actually with another, they call it squib, we'd call it a cushion that goes on top of these. At the back, this is unreal. Big fish box and deep. Fish box comes right to here. Standard on the offshore model is a dual battery setup with an isolator switch hidden behind a jump seat on both sides. So very clever use of space. Very, very well designed and well thought out boat. Got a raw water wash down. You do have the ability to make this a live well. This particular one's just the fish box. We have it equipped with a Yamaha 115 four stroke plus a four stroke eight horse for the kicker uh, with a tie bar linking the two together. And now the real important feature on this boat is not what you see here, it's what's on the outside. So let's go have a look. Okay, let's take a look at the design and what makes this boat different from everything else in North America. It's a chambered hull. Right there is a chamber. That goes all the way around the front. This is essentially a rigid hulled inflatable boat, except the inflatable part is aluminum. It's unbelievable. That's what makes it stable. The other thing is that pontoon doubles as your reverse chine. This entire length is your chine all the way down. It's huge. It's an unbelievably dry ride that deflects all the water away from the driver. And look at this, another feature for a dry ride. If you're sitting in those back seats, you might be worried about spray. Have a look at this deflection right here. So any water that makes it past here is gonna hit here and deflect out. Um, it's an unbelievable design uh, and unlike anything at all that you see in North America. The really neat thing with it is half the people that look at this boat are gonna think it's ugly. The other half are gonna think it's unbelievable. What more can you say? Welcome to Canada, Stabycraft.